It's a lovely plankton regurgitator, Wally. Thank you for the demonstration. Oh, Sea Philly, why don't you tell us about your project? I call it my cross-current fish-to-fish -fish communicator. When one fish talks into the transmitting conchmitter, another fish can hear it by wearing this shell sieber. Here, Mrs. Chips, put this on and I'll demonstrate how it works. Ready? Yes, go ahead, dear. Mrs. Chips is the best teacher in the Bay of Neptune. Remarkable, Sea Philly. I could hear every word you said. And thank you. As you can hear, it'll work from anywhere in the room. Oh, dear! Oh, I'm getting some very harsh-sounding music. Ha! She's picking up K-Neptune 101. That's some invention you came up with, Sea Philly. <laughs> <laughs> I can't understand what could be causing... Wait a minute. It's this magnet. It's causing my fish-to-fish -fish communicator to pick up radio signals. Well, you may have a few little bugs to work out, but it's still a wonderful invention. Hey, Blue, you seem kind of down. What's going on? Nothing. Okay. Something. It's... a girl. Goldie, huh? How do you know? You've only been staring at her every day in class. I'd sure like to ask her to the movies. So why don't you? I can't. Every time I try to talk to her, my tongue gets all twisted in my mouth, and I get all confused, and... Hey, she's swimming this way. Now's your chance. But... but... <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> Golly, Blue, you ought to do something about that cough. I might as well face it. I'll never be able to talk to Goldie. Sure you will. You just need a little practice. I got an idea. Why don't you practice on Sea Philly? Practice what on, Sea Philly? Lose chit-chat. Just repeat after me. You're very pretty today. Uh, you're very pretty today. Uh-huh. Flattery will get you nowhere. Uh, I don't want to go nowhere. Now that you're here... <laughs> hey, not bad, Blue. I'll bet she'll think you're cute. See how easy it is? Oh, sure. Real easy, when you're right here whispering in my ear. Of course! Why don't we use your science project to help, Blue? My fish-to-fish -fish communicator? I don't get it. It's simple. I whisper stuff into the conch meter, Blue hears it through the shell sieber and repeats it to Goldie. Rainbow, that's totally sneaky! Just think of it as a way to boost his confidence. I mean, look at the guy. He's a mess. I don't know. What if something goes wrong? What can possibly go wrong? Rainbow! Want to lick the kelp icing off the beaters? Thanks, Mom. Not tonight. Too busy. Too busy for kelp icing? That boy doesn't sound like himself. I wonder if he's sick. Something's up with that little sea snake. And I'm going to find out what it is. Meet me after school on the ship's bow in Shipwreck Park. Signed, a secret admirer. Now remember, Blue, just repeat everything I say. All right. I sure hope this works. Uh, hi, um, Goldie? Blue? You're my secret admirer? But you've never said two words to me. Uh, uh... Here, let me do it. It is my invention. I've got it, I've got it. I've got it, I've got it! Got what? Tell her, 
I was out gathering anemone flowers. Um, I was out gathering anemone flowers when I noticed a tiny, fragile shell. That reminded me of you. That reminded me of Blue. Oh, I mean you. Oh, right. This is gonna work. Here's a little poem I wrote. <clears throat> I think that I shall never see... That I shall never see... A sea rose bush as lovely as Goldie. Oh, I think I'm gonna be ill. As lovely as Goldie. <sighs> oh, that's so sweet. I can't believe it. How'd you like to go to, uh, uh, how'd you like to go to, uh? Huh? How'd I like to go where? What are you two clownfish up to, anyhow? Us? Nothing. Just passing through. Heading over to Wanda's. Wanda's? Would I like to go to Wanda's? Uh, sure. I guess. Okay, well... See you tomorrow at Wanda's. Uh, yeah. What happened? You cut me off. Chomper and Stingle almost caught us. I had to hide the conch meter. The last thing you want is those two messing things up for you. That's for sure. Anyhow, she's going to meet me tomorrow at Wanda's. I sure hope nothing goes wrong. <sighs> what can possibly go wrong? <laughs> Up Rainbow Creep's little plan, but good. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Sea Philly. I need your help to think up more stuff for Blue to say. Your smile is like, uh, something twinkling in the night. Your smile is like a bunch of barnacles twinkling in the moonlight. <laughs> so that's what's going on. <laughs> Get Blue to ask her to the movies. Okay, okay. All right, Blue. Ask her to the movies on Friday. Uh, ask her to the movies on Friday. Ask who? Oh, me? I'd love to, Blue. What's wrong with this thing? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what do you think of my new backpack? My mom got it for me. And with a cold current coming in from the east, the forecast for next week looks really bad. Uh, looks really bad. What? That's it. I didn't come here to be insulted. Uh, but what about the movie? Do you still want to go? Not if you are the last fish in the ocean. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I love this thing. <laughs> Come on, Blue, cheer up. Tell you what, I'll buy popcorn for the both of us. My treat. Thanks, but I don't think I can eat. Blue? Goldie? You came? Sea Philly told me the whole story, and I think what you did was awful. I know, and you're right to be mad. I was gonna say that I think what you did was awfully sweet. I can't believe you'd go to all that trouble just to ask me to the movies. Wow! Like, I mean, <laughs> wow! <laughs> you know what? As much as I like the poetry, I think you're much cuter when you're just being you. Goldie? We're gonna go grab a seat. See? It all worked out. Hey! 
I was the one who fixed things up with Goldie. Well, that's because your dumb invention loused everything up in the first place. Oh, isn't that cute, Hallie? They're having the first fight. What are you talking about, Ruby? Don't worry. All boyfriends and girlfriends have arguments. Boyfriend? Girlfriend? Your smile is like a bunch of barnacles twinkling in the moonlight. Ha, ha, ha.